Alright, what's going on guys? Um, this is Jordan from JJ Pokemon. Um, in this video, we're going to be, I'm going to be showing you guys um, my thoughts about the upcoming X and Y set, Ancient Origins. Um, the set doesn't come out until August or September, but the Japanese set just released today. Um, Bandit Ring and some scans have been leaked out of Japan of the set. So we're gonna see what they're what all we've got. Um, so here we go. We're gonna make a full screen and then we'll get started. So first up we have Oddish Bloom and Vile Bloom. Oddish and Bloom are kinda just there to evolve. Vile Plume though it has the ability frustrating problem as long as this book on the play. Both you and your opponent can't play item cards, which is going to be very, very frustrating. So, that's going to be frustrating. Then, Blossom isn't the greatest. I mean, Flower Mixer isn't the best attack. It's kind of, the attack used to be kind of like that. A similar attack was on Superior, the one with Royal Heal, but. Other than that, I, mean, I don't think it's that great. So then we have Spinarak and Ariados. Ariados with the ability Poison Nest. Once during your turn, uh, you may use this ability. Both active Pokemon are now poisoned, excluding grass Pokemon. So you can use this to get an instant poison on your opponent. Uh, I mean, if you, if you run this in a grass deck, I mean, poison your opponent as long as they're not uh, as long as they don't have a grass Pokemon active. So then we have Skeptile and Mega Skeptile EX. Uh, Skeptile EX is actually pretty good. Well, actually, yeah, it is. I mean, your first attack is Sleep Poison for 1 energy, 10 damage. Put the coin to head, your opponent target Pokemon is now asleep and poison. Pretty good. Pretty good stall if you can't get your Skeptile Spirit Link. Then, um, Assassin Claw, um, 60 damage. Uh, um, if your opponent's active Pokemon is affected by special condition, it's tanked to 70 more. So, I mean, if you think about it, you can get an instant. If, as, long, as long as they don't get out of the poison and or sleep, I mean, 10. Well, six, I mean, you can do 140 in two turns right there. Then you can set up that Mega Skeptile EX to take the knockout on the following turn with Jagged Saber. 100 damage. You may attach up to two Grass Energy from your hand to your bench Pokemon in any way you like. If you do, you all the energy from your Pokemon you attach them to. This is kind of going kind to of, sort of be a pseudo Mega Manectric setting up Pokemon. Also healing off damage. We have Combi and Vespican. Vespican is going to be nasty, man. Um, I mean, it's got it's good. It's the new Flareon, but better in my opinion. I mean, two colorless energy. B Revenge, 20 damage plus 10 more damage for each Pokemon card in your discard. That's exactly the same as the um, as the new as the new the Flareon from Plasma Freeze. The deck I've used in the past, but I think this one it has a better attack. Revenge is its second attack, but its first attack, um, its first attack, information control, ten damage. You may draw until there are six in your hand, which is the old Tropius from Plasma Blast attack, pretty much. Plus, it has free retreat. Flareon had a two retreat. So, this one is going to be pretty nice, I think. I mean, unfortunately, it's not the one that got the ancient trait. Uh, that a double. You can have two Pokemon tools attached to it, and that one is pretty bad. The armor is decent, but the attacks are bad. B Drain could be decent. I mean, if you think about it, it could. I don't know, what, I don't know really what you could use for that, but. I don't know. So then, uh, Verizian, 
Um, you rescue, search or discard pile for two Pokemon. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what you could use that for, honestly. I mean, yeah, and then prize counter, 40 damage. If you have more prizes left than your opponent and does 80 more, I mean, that's not that bad. I mean, 120. If you're behind, isn't too bad. So then the Flareon, this starts the new day. Um, it's ability Flare Effect. As long as this Pokemon is in play, all of your stage one Pokemon are fire as well as their original type, which is going to be pretty good, I think, um, with a lot of stage one based decks with Wally. And as you'll see, this isn't the only EV evolution in the, in that has this kind of ability. I mean, I can see these being used with like Wally and popular stage ones to try to hit for weakness as much as possible. Then we have Entei, um, it got an ancient trait as well, it's basic one, um, burning scent, discard the top four deck, discard the top four cards of your deck, attach any fire energy you find there to your Pokemon any way you like, um, could be a energy acceleration for camera ups, but that's about all I could see it being used for. Charizard, but that's about it. Um, Combat Blaze, 20 damage, plus 20 more for each of your big ones. It's kind of like Absol, but with fire and no real way to boost damage like Deoxys EX did for it. So I don't really see that being that great. I mean, not, you could use it in a camera or a Charizard deck. Then the intake with Feather Double, pretty bad. Nothing really to write home about there. Flame Barrier, 30 damage boost. And heat Tackle. Heat Tackle is basically a worse, a worse version of um, Fire Blast from uh, Charizard EX one with Stoke. I think I'm, I'm thinking of someone else, maybe I don't know. Zen, Larvesta, and Volcarona. Larvesta. Volcarona Sunbath. Search your deck for a basic Pokemon. I didn't even read this card earlier. Whatever this is earlier, I'm just going to this one. Search your deck for a basic Pokemon and put it onto your bench, then attach it up to two basic energy cards. I'm going to have two other than that. That's not too bad, honestly. I mean, I mean you could get. It something powered up quickly maybe use this in now nah, you want to get now you don't want to waste that much time i don't know i'm mean, there i'm sure i'll get used for it this can't be anything top of my head but there's got to be something then volcarona with the ancient trait that a stop when it affects the real point of abilities makes it look fun burning scale is pretty bad points left attached using that effect trait Veil Wind, the question is the defending Pokemon one for protection Pokemon. Now on to something I really don't like. Gyarados. It's a Magikarp, of course, you know, they gotta come up with something, some terrible attack for it to have. Amazing Splash, 30 damage, flip two coins, if either one is Tails, the attack does nothing. Yeah, uh, yeah, not even gonna, not even gonna bother. So then we have Gyarados. Um, another uh, one thing I don't like about this is the fact that Gyarados is one of the most powerful Pokemon, but yet again they don't give it really anything good to work with. I mean, let's see. So the the first one, Thrashing Splash, isn't that bad it's basically and it does more damage but for more energy version of articuno ex's blizzard this one costs three energy compared to two and but it does 80 compared to 50 articuno ex correct me if i'm wrong and it does 10 damage to your opponent's bench like how articuno did then aqua tail four energy flip a coin for each water energy it touches the pokemon it does 30 more for each heads with the fact that putting lots of energy on a stage one Pokemon isn't 
that great, and the fact that you realize it on coin flip, that's not much to write home about. Then we have the that the double Gyarados, which is actually it looks really really nice, but it's not a great card. Um, counter attack, 30 damage times the number of damage counters on all of your finished magic card. Now let's think about this. Theoretically, you could you could hit for 240 with this attack, but it would be no. Never mind. No, you couldn't. Never mind. I forgot about that. You could hit for 180 with this attack. You would have three bench magic card with two damage counters on each of them. So three times six is 180. Or three times six is 18. But are you really going to get three magic cards with exactly 20 damage on them? I don't think so. So once again, and then Thrash. Uh, flip a coin if has attacked us 30 more damage to tail is this Pokemon does 30 damage herself. Nah. I'm just hoping we get Mega Gyarados in the next set with Dragon Rage for like a lot of damage. Because they are really Gyarados is one of the Pokemon that I feel like has never really been like competitive, but one that I think should because it's a very powerful Pokemon. Kind of like Charizard I mean, but even worse in my opinion, because they've given Charizard a couple of decent cards. But Gyarados has never gotten anything. Vaporeon, Aqua Effect with the water. I think that's going to be pretty good because of the, I mean, just with Wally. I could see like people making that with Wally's X card with Evolutions. Uh, then Relicanth. Uh, deep Sea Search isn't that great, two Pokemon tools, I mean, maybe if you really have the time to sacrifice a Relicant to get two tools, and then take down is horrible. Red Ice, Ice Beam, 30 damage, flip a coin, the head's paralyzed. Resistance Blizzard actually isn't that bad. 70 damage during your opponent's next turn, turn all picks of attacks between damage and left Pokemon EX. This could be the way of reprinting. This is kind of the next Suicune, but not as good because the because you can only prevent damage if you attack with it for the mediocre 70 plus whatever damage you have. So then we have Shurum EX. Um, you know, Frozen World, this attack is 30 MG to your Pokemon, you know, I mean, Pokemon. Now, there is, oh, well, never mind. Uh, the common one I was thinking about is the Cooper can expand it without some crazy could do with Mew EX and Pheasant. Use Pheasant's Feather Dance with Mew EX to give it 80 more damage, and then you use. Frozen World with Glaciate from the regular Charm, and you do 110 damage to your opponent's Pokemon, which is pretty, pretty sweet, I mean, 110 damage across the board, and if you think about it for the next turn, since we're still expanded, you could sweep across with a Duskmore, maybe, and just with the fact that you have a lot of damage, you could just pot for you maybe win the game on turn three by just moving the energy of the X's. Then we have Ice Caliber, cool name, but it's pretty bad. Uh three water plus, discard one energy attached to this Pokemon. During your post next turn, you can put my can attack. I mean possibly, but nah. Then we have Jolteon, electric effect. All of your Jolteon Pokemon are lightning, as well as their original type. And Pharos EX, um, not, uh, I mean, Thunder Rod isn't too bad. Just to look at the top four cards of your deck, you may have to give me Lightning Energy, you find that as your deck like just Pokemon, you shuffle the right card of your deck. You could use this to get Mega and Pharos powered up, but I don't really see it. Sparkling Tail, 
attack damage isn't uh, 100 isn't affected by weakness or any other effects. So this could be your well, I mean, the safe part could be rotated, but this could be your X insert X wall here to counter. So then Mega and Pharos EX. Uh, uh, volt, uh, four energy, uh, you may make this tech do 50 more damage, alright, we have 120, you make it do 50 more, and your protective Pokemon is now paralyzed, and it does 30 assault. So this isn't too bad, um, because you can do, you can do 170, which is enough to knock out some Pokemon EX, you probably need like tool retriever and then a spirit link though so then but other than that i mean that yeah i don't know it just depends on how they play it i mean i just i don't think it'd be i think this might i think this is going to be the least competitive of the three megas i think skeptile is better and the other one tyranitar that you'll see i think is better so then we have Rotom. Um, uh, Electro Ball, nothing to write home about. Mischievous Light, pretty bad. I mean, I mean, if you could reveal, if they could have, if you could reveal your hand and then make them shuffle certain cards in, then it might be okay, but not random. So then, last will from unknown, um, one string your turn, this Pokemon is on your bench, you may discard this Pokemon and offer an attach to it, and draw a card, I mean, could you use a little again, bench some unknowns, discard them, draw some cards, get some more damage for be your revenge, or bug range, or whatever it's called, I don't know. So then hidden power and damage, I mean, I kind of wish hidden power was the ability, but as, as the old unknowns were, and I kind of wish we could have some unknown letters, but oh well. So then we have Baltoy and uh, Claydol, Baltoy being an ancient trait, it has a stop that uh, future spin with top three cards that come and put them back on top in new order. Could be decent, maybe in a deck where you really need to control what they top deck and make it so they can they can't top deck a certain thing. So then played all um rewind remove the top evolution card from your opponent's Pokemon and put those cards into your opponent's hand. That's not too bad. I mean could be good against Mega decks, make them get rid of their Megas and re-Mega Evolve. Especially if they've played like Tool Retriever and don't have the Spirit Link on anymore. Or it's the Primal Route on Focus Sash variant. Hyper Beam, not the greatest. Gullet, Galurk. Actually isn't too bad. You'll see why. Okay, so its ability is double type. As long as this Pokemon is in play, it is both psychic and fighting type. So you could theoretically have like four or five different types on this Pokemon with the evolutions. So then its attack, four energy, super power, 80 damage. You may make this attack do 40 more damage. If you do, this Pokemon does 20 damage to itself. But as far as we know, unless it's a misprint, its resistance is fighting, which is one of its types. So, as long as its ability is not being blocked, which it can really only block it, I don't even think that it really can be blocked because Wobbuffet can't block it, Silent Lab can't block it because it's not basic, unless I'm missing an ability blocker, it's, it, you're pretty much going to be guaranteed 100 damage. So then, Bandit Ring, which is Hoopa EX, Bandit Ring, so this set is centered on Hoopa EX because it has the attack, it has the ability, well, usually it's the attack, but this has the ability, that is the name of the Japanese set, this one being Bandit Ring, once during the turn, you can place Pokemon from your hand onto your bench and use this ability, search your deck for up to three Pokemon EX, excluding Hoopa EX, show them to your opponent and put them in your hand. 
This is going to be an incredibly versatile card, almost like Shane EX. But probably better than the Trump Bird Man, because of just the fact that you can get your EXs out. Toad, I think, but I think Toad's death is imminent now that Trump card's gone. Laser is going to be rotated. Vermin is going to be rotated. And now this Grass Flareon. That it's weak to is going to be coming in and dominating. I think the best I think it's going to dominate. I'm definitely going to go back on if I can get some. But it's probably going to be expensive because Flareon was expensive before it, before, uh, when, after Orion Craig dominated Florida regionals with it. Anyway, Hyperspace Fury. Discard two energy to attach to Pokemon. She's going to get some Pokemon with 100 damage. I don't think it's going to be that great because of the fact that, I mean, you got Mega Latios that can do more damage, but it could be good in a Psychic based deck as your Ryko EX Sniper style, um, because the original attack like this was Ryko EX's Volt Volt, um, we used to snipe Garbodor so that they couldn't um, block the Electric's Dynamoter, onto the Quasi EX, but now it can be all sorts of things. The Lost is better because it can snipe Shaman EX, but, and really, I mean, right now, Bikini EX and all those, all the Celebi EX, all those 110 HP, 120 HP EXs, but Koopa might not be that bad. I don't think it'll see, I don't think the attack will be bad, I think it'll be play for its ability. So we have my Champ EX, one of my favorite Pokemon, the Forearm Beast. Uh, it's for attack Thrash. I think they have two cards with a Thrash attack. This one's actually much better. Fighting in the colors, 20 damage, has a number of damage on this Pokemon, and is now confused. Then we have um, Crazy Hammer. If this Pokemon is affected by the definition of this anymore. So you could see a nice combo here with Thrash to confuse it, plus Crazy Hammer to get some math outs. Then Wooper and Quagsire. Quagsire. No, not even. It's a very, very bad card. I mean, I just don't see why you would want to run it. Reggie Rock, not as good as the promo Reggie Rock that's been seeing play in Fairy Box to keep their energy safe. Indomitable Rock, 60 damage. If your opponent's active, Pokemon's at Pokemon EX, it does 60 more. I mean, sure. It could be kind of like Gold Breaker from Buffalant, but not really that great. Then a Fighting Galurk, Dig Out, Discard the Tech card of your deck, so Fighting Energy. Not that great, it's pretty much Ether, except only for Fighting Energy. I think it'd be better if it was a Basic Energy, but I could see why they made it Fighting. And then Double Larry, it's pretty bad. I think if you're gonna run a Galurk, you might as well just run, um, you might as well just run the Psychic and Fighting Galurk. So then, we got our first two Dark Pokemon are the Big Bad Tyranitar and Mega Tyranitar EXs. Uh, Head Smash, Ground Break, aren't too bad. Aren't, well, not, aren't too great. But Mega Tyranitar, man. This card, if people can figure out how to not make it clunky, it's gonna destroy, no pun intended, stuff with Destroyer King. 110 damage and does 60 more damage for each damage counter in front of the active Pokemon. I've already heard people say they're going to make Mega Titanitar pro that, and I agree with that because if you can get some, let's just think about this, let's theory mod this for a second, and it's got 240 HP by the way, kind of like the Primal, it's going to be actually evil, but okay, let's say you go first. Okay, let's say, yeah, let's say you go first and you Wally 
for gold that. You get 20 damage on an active. Okay. And you get a double colorless on Tyranitar EX and Spirit Link. Turn two, Mega Evolve. Drop the Darkness Energy. Mega Turbo the Darkness Energy. You evolve into Crobat for another 30. That's 50 damage on your opponent's active. So five times six. So that's that's 300 damage right there. You're doing 410 damage on turn two. That's obviously not gonna happen every single time, but especially but kind of like how people were they're trying to theory in mind how to get a turn two emerald break right for 240 for turn one going seconds or whatever. But plus with that a double and two tools, technically you have two muscle bands and you can do 450 damage. Just think about that. Oh yeah, and on a dark you go by 900. Anyway. Uh, we have Sableye. Not. I kind of wish they would have replanted Junk on Sableye, but nope. Um, Captivating Eye. Support card and punch discard and use this effect as the effect is attack. Might not be that bad early on, but. I mean, you could use it. Juniper, or maybe, or something? I don't know. But, or, but I don't know. Silent placement, not that great. Just use Gengar EX if you want to do that. Inke, um, Spit Ink, if you're uh, during your opponent's next turn, it's depending on what you attack. Your opponent's your tail that attack is nothing. Nah, not that great. Malamar, Entwining Control, switch one of your opponent's active Pokemon with one of his or her bench Pokemon, and your active Pokemon is not confused. That's not too bad, but I don't really think... I don't know. But anyway, speaking of Sableye with Junk Hunt, we have Trash Tentacle for 30 damage. Search your discard pile for one card, show it to your opponent, and put it into your hand. It could be pretty good. There are similar differences, some good, some bad, to from this with Sableye, but... It's funny because there used to be a deck based around Malamar from X and Y, and that Junk Hunt Sableye, and now Malamar is getting an attack that is very similar to that Sableye, but... Anyway, we have Metagross. It's pretty decent. I think, um, it's first attack, it's first, the first one, the ability is Magnet Warp, once during your turn, you may switch your active Pokemon from your bench Pokemon, and then your opponent switches, it's kind of like an escape rope, except you switch first, instead of your opponent, then we have the Theta Double one, um, first attack for two colors, Machine Gun Stamp, 20 damage, plus 10 more for each card in your hand, I think that's going to be pretty good. Because, I mean, I've heard people, I've seen people try to build a deck around Gorgeist and Slurpuff. I could see this Metagross. It does the, it taught, it costs less energy. Does the exact same thing. It has more HP. It is a little bit slower to set up. Unless you get like a Wallby in the wall the next turn or get a rare candy. But you can still have it set up turn two like Gorgeist. But... Who knows? I mean, I like it, but that's just me. Then guard press, not that great. I mean, there have been better Pokemon with guard press, but oh well. Then we have Reggie Steel, Iron Head, one of the general flip, which isn't that great. Then Imprisoning Hammer. If your opponent's active Pokemon is a Pokemon EX, discard one energy attached to it, so it's gonna be kinda like um Regice or Reggie Rock, where you do something if it's an EX. So then we have Gardevoir, Bright Heal, um Once during your turn you may heal 20 from each of your Pokemon. I don't think it's that great, but eh. Then we have Whimsicott, um, 
Choose one of your bench Pokemon, move all damage counters on that Pokemon to one of your opponent's active Pokemon. That's actually not too bad. You could do something like where you... You could do something crazy like... Run this in like a... Well, it does take a fair energy. So you could run it in like a Mega Gardevoir. You get a lot of energy on a Mega Gardevoir. You could move it. Instead of using a Max Potion, you could use Wind Mischief. And move a lot of damage. I could just knock it out. But... Really... You could just... Max Potion. And then attack it in front of it. Versus 78 in stage 1 to do that. Do the next card is something I'm using. Great. Hiratina EX Dragon. Its ability. Rebellious Wave. Prevent all effects of attacks, including damage done to this Pokemon by your opponent's Mega Evolved Pokemon. This is going to be crazy because there are so many Mega Base decks that one hit KO and all that stuff. The only thing I. No, 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 no. I can't really think of anything that could shut this down. Other than Silent Lab. But, really, the only. The only mega based deck that runs Silent Lab is Primal Browser. So, really, if you can just make sure you don't get hit with a Silent Lab. Especially since, and here's its attack, Chaos Veil, for Grass, Psychic, and Two Colorless. During your opponent's next turn, it does 100 damage. During your opponent's next turn, he or she can't play any Pokemon Tool, Special Energy, or Stadium card from his or her hand. And then another thing you could do is you can run Vile Plume from this set to lock items. It locks your items, but it also locks theirs. And another, with another card from this set, you can use A Z and a. Um, you can run A, you can use A Z and this other card from this set. And I'll just get to it in a minute. And you can just A Z vile plume when you want to play items, and then you put it right back down. I'll show you how you can do that in a minute. So then we got me, and we got Sliggy and Ruda. Yumi has the ability Dilution. When you attach a water energy from your hand to this Pokemon, you may use this ability. Search your deck for a Yumi and put it onto your bench. I mean, I don't know. Could be interesting and expanded with Blastoise, and you could like deluge three times and get all four of your Yumi out. But, I mean, Gudra is not that great, so unless you use a different Gudra, this one's pretty bad. Um. 110 damage and it can't be affected by special conditions isn't that bad, but yet again on a stage two. And then Liquid Blow. Choose one of your opponent's Pokemon. This detected 20 damage times its retreat cost. Could be decent with Team Aqua's Muck in standard, although you would then be adding on to Gudra's three retreat cost. Or an expanded with Jellicent from Boundaries Cross. You gotta consider when this set comes out in English, um, and we will be in the new format, which a lot of people have speculated will be X and Y on. That's what I think it'll be. That's kind of what I hope for, because a lot of black and white stuff has been around for a long time and kind of needs to go away. So then we have Meowth. Act bad. Doesn't dark energy just came on there. Persian. Fake out isn't too bad if you really need a stall and rush on is pretty bad too. So once again another classic Gen 1 Pokemon that they don't respect. So then we have Eevee. I mean I'll use use man. I would just use Furious Fist Eevee anyway. I don't think this thing will ever see blood personally, but that's just me. So then we have Porygon data check look at your deck then shuffle your deck because you know you totally need to have an attack to look at your deck when you can just look at your deck whenever you play a trainer or you play a, when you play anything that allows you to go into your deck you why why would you ever need that it's kind of like Petrat 
from, I don't even remember which set, the one that lets you look at one face down prize card. It's like, why do you need to do that when you can just play Town Mag if you really, really, really need to look at your prize cards? But that's just me. Okay. Anyway, Porygon 2, meh. Then Porygon Z. First one, Cyber Crash. Discard all special energy attached to all of your opponent's Pokemon. Now, this could be decent if you, I mean, you could pair it with, I mean, you could just use it against a Toad. It'd be kind of crazy if all four Toads had DCE on them, and you use Cyber Crash and make them not be able to get, not, not basically not be able to attack the horse in the game. That'd be really, really crazy. So then we have the other one, that is Stop. Um... Jeju to reboot, kind of the, I forget which card lets you devolve your opponent's Pokemon, but you can devolve your Pokemon with Jeju to reboot. And then we have Screen Resolution, which is kind of a strange attack name. Um, your opponent's active Pokemon is not confused. Um, I like the other one more, got Slow Beam, 70 damage, during your opponent's next turn, you your Pokemon attack, use Colorless more to use. Could be interesting with Henry. I know that this could be a nice side to go down. Um, because you can, I mean, you could just, you can cyber crash. Well, no, 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 no. Anyway, you can use a heavy and then slow beam, and it makes these four energy to go to crash. Then we have Lugia EX, yet again another homage to the past, this is going to be the next Mewtwo EX in my opinion. Arrow Ball, 20 damage, 10 more energy attached to this Pokemon, that is a new Pokemon just like Mewtwo. Except I think this one has a better second attack. Deep Hurricane, 80 damage, it's an Insidium card in play, this attack is 70 more, this card is 70 more. So 150 for 4 plus this card is Stadium, could be good. I could see this being used for just the first attack in Mega Rayquaza, kind of like how Aromatis had in YouTube, Rayquaza, uh, Lugia, uh, yeah. So we have Eco, now we're into the trainers, we have Eco Arm. Shuffle three Pokemon tools from your discard pack back in your deck. I could see this being used in Expanded with Tool Drop, if anyone ever really wants to play that. Um, in case you get megaphoned, we have Paint Roller, discard a stadium, draw one, not that great unless you really need to discard a Skyfield, or insert stadium here. And the next one, the Big Bad Level Ball is returning to the standard format after a year off. Its last print was Next Destinies, which rotated last year. Search a deck for Pokemon 90 HP or less, reveal it into your hand. I think stage 2 decks could make a comeback because of this. You can get the, the basics and in some cases the stage ones out faster. Unfortunately, Jirachi's rotating, so you can't have that play. A level ball for Jirachi, get a supporter, but. Oh well. Then we have Lucky Helmet. Uh. When the Pokemon this card is attached to is your active Pokemon and is damaged by from this attack, draw two cards. I don't think it's going to be that great, especially without Trump. You really don't want to go any faster than you really need to, and this just helps speed up a, a format when you really... It helps you speed up your deck in a format when you really need to slow down. So then the three Spirit Links, I don't really need to go over those. Just makes it so you don't end your turn if you Mega Evolve. Then our supporters, we have Ace Trainer. You'd only play this card if you have more prize cards left than your opponent. Both players shuffle their hands into your deck, and then you draw six, and your opponent draws three. This is going to be very similar to N, but not really. Because, I mean, pretty much, I mean, it's got the disruption thing that N had, and draw six cards like N had, but... Other than that, I mean, the fact that it's really going to be kind of a situational card, I don't think it will be that great. Then we have Hex Maniac. I forgot about this card, honestly. This is how people are going to shut off um, Giratina. 
Until the end of your opponent's next turn, you Pokemon and play and I have no abilities. So there's that. So we have Color Dream City. First are two stadiums. Between turns, place two damage from any Megan Gold Foot and play some similar turn to get people away from using the negative space and make sure they can counter. I mean, 20 damage between turns isn't. It's not the greatest, but you never know. Some state, some decks that don't have a stadium, I could see Toad using this as their replacement for Burbank City Gym. I mean, think about it. I don't know. It could be. It could be. It could be too. I'm not. Not be that bad. So then, here's the top card we're talking about earlier: Giant Plant Forest. Each player's grass Pokemon can evolve during the first turn and on the turn you're putting to play. So basically what you can do is you can just add down and play. If, if you're playing a Vile Plume deck and you need to play items, you can add Vile Plume, AZ, whatever you want to call it. Then play your items and then with Giant Plant Forest, you just block it right back down. So, yeah. So then we're taking special energies. We are getting a special lightning energy, flash energy. Um, the lightning Pokemon, this energy attack you has no weakness. Could be decent in lightning decks. And then we have bad energy, probably not the name that the English set will have, I'm just gonna say right now. Um, when the Pokemon is called you attack to, is your active Pokemon is damaged by your opponent's Pokemon you actually attack, put two damage turns on the attacking Pokemon you actually attack. This is a way to have Lanitar can get some damage on the board too. You attach a bad energy, you yeah, um, could get even more damage on that EX. So we have Skets, then we got our full arts. I'll just show them off a little bit. I'll do full images real quick just so you can see them. There is Skeptile EX. You can pause the video if you want to get a closer look. Mega Skeptile EX. Kurum EX. And Pharos EX. Mega and Pharos EX. Koopa EX Machamp EX, which I think is the only This one's amazing. I, I want this card to be really bad. Tyranitar EX. Images isn't that great on this one, but uh, Mega Tyranitar EX. This one looks nice too with that like lightning strikes in the background. Giratina EX. This one was pretty easy too. Lugia EX. This one looks nice. I love it. And the EX is, EX is pretty bad too. Honestly, but the EX one, the regular EX, but the full art is really good. Nice. Then we got our secret rares. So our first one we've got the big bad. Primal Kyogre coming back. Man. Unfortunately, this one isn't as good as the first one even, and the first one's starting to die out because of the fact that it can't compete in this one-hit knockout format. So its ability Theta Max. When one of your Pokemon becomes this Pokemon, heal all damage from it. So it could be decent, but not really. I don't, I don't really see it. So then we have Primal Groudon EX. It has the Theta Max ability as well. So there's that. Then we have Mega Rayquaza EX. This card's gonna be worth way, way too much money, man. Just to be Binder Fodder. It's gonna be the next Mega Charizard Dragon Seeker Rare where it costs like 50 plus dollars and it's not even that playable because i think that a max is not that great i think delta evolution is what makes the card so good but 
I mean, you never know. Someone will find a use for this, maybe. Then our two secret rare items. First one, Energy Retrieval Man. Um, sh we should have known this was coming. I mean, they've been doing a lot of energy stuff. Energy switch in the last set. So, I don't know, I don't know how much this will be worth. I could see it being worth about $20. I'll probably do some value predictions at the end on my, on the ultra rares and stuff. So then, the other secret rare, man, Trainer's Mill. It's kind of strange this card to get a secret rare. I think they've seen the popularity that, um, I think they've seen the popularity that, um, it has right now in the meta and they decided to make it the second secret rare item in this set but who knows you never know with pokemon man i don't think i think it's an overrated card i don't like it but that's just me a lot of people do but to each their own i guess i'm assuming this card probably worth about 30 bucks i'm not probably gonna get i might get one for a set if i decide to make it but I'm not buy. I'm not really gonna use it that much. So, so here's my value prediction. Like I said, train the mail thirty, energy was twenty, mega Rayquaza probably be for fifty bucks at least. Primal Groudon, yeah, probably fifty bucks again. Groudon probably about thirty five or not. Kyogre probably about thirty five forty on. Full Art Lugia is probably gonna be twenty bucks. Giratina, probably 20 bucks as well. Mega Tyranitar, probably 30. Tyranitar X, probably 15. Machamp EX, probably 20. Koopa EX, probably 30. Or more. Mega Ampharos, probably 30. Ampharos, probably 15. Curum, probably 10. I don't see it catching on. Mega Skeptile, probably 40, 50. Skeptile EX, probably 15, 20. And then the regular EXs, I don't really know, probably about 5 less than what I said for the full arts. But that is it, man. Um, thanks to Poke Beach for all these scandals, all the people that send in cards, and all the people do translations, and all that stuff, man. Um, I think this is going to be a great set. Um, the next set is going to feature Mega Mewtwo, man. Mega Mewtwo X and Y. Can't wait for that. So, um, it's been about, man, I didn't even know I've been talking this long, it's been about 47 minutes, like, if any of you guys watched this whole video, thank you very much for sticking around, man. Um, but, uh, I'll talk about, sorry for the while since I uploaded, I've been busy with, um, driver's training, work, and band, so it's been kind of a busy time for me, so, uh, I apologize for not uploading in a while, but I'm heading to Nats in a couple weeks, man. Um, so, it, it, I think it's going to be fun. Uh, I don't know, I still don't know what deck I'm going to take, but it's still going to be fun anyway, so. Yeah. Um, so, thank you guys very much for watching um, this incredibly long video I didn't even mean for you this long man but anyway um this is Jordan from JJ Pokemon and I'll see you next time